Sasha for Mobile Geeks, we are at the NVIDIA booth at CS 2013 and this is my new car. <laughs> I wish, I'll tell you that. That's the new Tesla S and uh, as you can see, um, they're definitely bringing screens and displays in a car on a whole new level. I have Shanna from Tesla over here and she is giving us a little walkthrough. Definitely. Well, thanks for have, for joining us inside Model S. This is our 17-inch touchscreen. Um, as you can see, Model S was uh, Motor Trend Car of the Year for 2013. That was announced in uh, in November, and that's like winning the Oscars, really. So um, I'll walk you through the touchscreen here and show you a little bit about what's going on here. So we've got two static ribbons, one at the top and one at the bottom. And um, in between, we've got apps that uh, you can switch back and forth, and you can see the speed and the clarity of that Sweet. is um, thanks to that. Tegra 3. Um, we can also blow this Maps app up all the way and zoom and pinch just like you're, we're used to on our phones these days. Uh, and so we partner with Google um, on these maps, but the, mm -hmm. uh, the navigation function is actually a partnership with Garmin. Mm -hmm. Um, and so moving across the top, uh, we've got your energy. Uh, this is for those geeks at home who love to see kind of what, what their driving style does to influence the amount of range that you have left and how, how energy consumption is, is really related to uh, driving techniques and styles. So this shows you, you know, the average consumption across 5, 15, and 30 miles. And you'll see that pops up also on the instrument cluster. We've got um, an NVIDIA Tegra 3 chip as well uh, that supports that instrument cluster. Sweet. And uh, as we saw on the first screen there, we do support full web browsing capabilities. We, the car has a 3G connection, uh, but um, we don't recommend you do this while driving. <laughs> <laughs> of course not, but that's amazing. Yeah, and, and again, same, um, same um, zoom and pinch So you can see technique. how quickly it renders, right? That's that right, exactly. absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. Nice. Um, of course, you can connect your, your phone um, via Using Bluetooth, Bluetooth okay. exactly. Um, and we also have two USB ports here. So uh, as we talk about the media app next, yeah. um, uh, oh, nice. yep, you can drag and drop uh, as you need. Um, so uh, you can tap into the music that's in your iTunes mm -hmm. folder or, uh, or wherever on your phone, mm -hmm. um, and also through a USB connection down there. Um, and so we off also offer internet radio, and we partner with TuneIn and on that as well. That is fantastic. So yeah, and then uh, along the bottom we've got our HVAC uh, and as you can see we've got dual or single controls mm -hmm. and uh, just so you know all of these controls here are uh, redundant here on the steering wheel and so uh, the, the, thumb, the thumb wheel on the right will control um, fan speed as well as opening and closing the sunroof and the climate control um, as well. Um, and this last that last screen is our control screen, and this is really where you can control all the all the um, kind of settings of the car. Uh, as you can see, we can open the sunroof from here, and that'll pop open. Oh, nice. This is a large. And this is almost like sun. Yeah. <laughs> it is. We've, we've, we've put the car perfectly by this light to, so you get a tan. Um, and, uh, and this is one of the largest openings, actually, in the industry. Wow. Um, and one of the things that's, that kind of separates, uh, uh, I think, Model S from many other car companies that are doing kind of these interactive touchscreen experiences is that we actually do the software ourselves. We write it ourselves, um, and then um, it's uh, downloaded through this 3G connection, okay. which, again, is the only car in the industry that's doing that right now. Um, and what we've done is, you know, we, what we're able to do, I should say, is really kind of improve the car the longer that it's on the road. Because with every new software update, we can, you know, add and, and take away um, uh, controls and, and, okay. and options, really. So I'll give you an example here. So uh, Creep was, um, sorry, we'll go back to controls here, driving. So Creep right here, um, when this car first shipped in June of, of 2012, Creep was actually not an option. Um, and we uh, I got some feedback from our customers that Creep was something that they really wanted to have. And Creep, again, is that, you know, taking your foot off the brake and having the car kind of inch forward. Um, and our customers told us that they really wanted a Creep functionality and that's something that they missed um, about driving this car. And so we just wrote it, um, wrote it into the software and the next software release that came through um, popped up there. That's very interesting and it looks absolutely amazing and it just tells, you know, 
how mobile technology is finally merging together uh, with the automotive industry and with a car like this. Right? Definitely. And I, I, I always felt that they that the whole car industry was a little bit behind and was kind of lacking this momentum that mobile was picking up. But the way you guys just squeeze it all in here is absolutely amazing. Um, tell us a little bit about the availability. Tesla S is already on the market, right? It is. We delivered our first 10 cars in June of this year, um, but we have more than 13,000 reservations for wow. Model S already. Um, and we are slowly, you know, ramping up and, and we've done a really good job of that. And so we're expecting to produce about 20,000 cars in 2013. Okay. And uh, the, the car comes with three battery packs. Mm -hmm. We have a 40 kilowatt hour, a 60 kilowatt hour, and an 85 kilowatt hour battery pack. And that entry level battery pack retails for about $59,000. And that's um, even after, or that's before the federal tax rebates. And this will deliver you a range of like 200 miles? Yeah, the largest battery pack has been EPA rated for 265 miles. Wow, that's fantastic. I mean, that, that, that's all you need because there are studies where right, most of the people are just doing like 30 or 40 miles. Yeah, right? the, the average the average you know driver on, on their daily commute travels yeah. about 40 miles and yeah. so this far exceeds that. Um, and, and so really range anxiety is going to be a thing of the past with Model S for sure. And then um, one other thing you know that's worth mentioning I think is Model S and what Tesla's done with it is really kind of created this opportunity for the road trip, which has never yeah. been possible in an electric car before by putting supercharger stations along major corridors between city centers. And, and that's something that, um, you know, again, is proprietary to Tesla, but we feel that it's really important for electric cars to succeed. It needs to be the one car that everybody can own, and it, can, it needs to be able to spend all day going to work, dropping the kids off at school, going out for dinner and lunch, um, but then also be the car that you get in and drive from LA to San Francisco in, or San Francisco to Tahoe, mm -hmm. and the supercharger stations, which are free to charge at, allow us to do that. That is amazing. So you're free to charge your Tesla car with a Tesla charge. That's correct. Mm -hmm. That is amazing. So um, that was a very, very interesting first look at the new Tesla S. Uh, I've been seeing this on the web for a couple of months now, and I couldn't wait just to finally sit in one. And I tell you what, you know, I, what I really love, I'm German, right? And somehow we invented the car. <laughs> uh, the, the build quality is absolutely amazing here. It just feels very, very solid. I'm pretty sure that this is your top model that we have over here. Right? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> this this car actually to be it here this good. week. <laughs> it smells good. It smells good. I think you smell good actually. Um, but I think um, so. It uh, it actually drove from Los Angeles, stopped at the supercharger station in Barstow, California, and then went Sweet. on and uh, drove right onto the, the conference room floor on Monday morning. One last question. Entry level price is? $59,900. That's not too bad. Not too bad at Shannon, all. Shannon, thank you so no much. No problem, Sasha. Thank so you. So I'm Sasha from Mobile Geeks over here at the CS 2013 in the Tesla S. Thanks for watching. Bye.